You got a uh, and teapot. Ooh, it's teapot. Okay. All right. Three, Terry versus two, Steve. One, um, go. I'm gonna go rely on you to get me those hard Steve facts. Hmm. Okay. So Steve, especially so this is a stage that both Steve and Terry like a lot. So it's gonna be interesting to see who likes it more here. But yeah. Okay. So that jab jab power dunk, very good SDI from uh there. Seeing that you have to SDI very hard up and in to get out. And especially such an early percent, that's really difficult. Now, correct me if I'm did you say you were a Terry main yourself? Yes, I am a Terry main. Okay, so I so I assume you know Teapot. You had already been talking about like, ooh, Teapot's here at the beginning of yes, the uh... Because he's also a part of the Bro Guards, the uh, Terry only crew. <laughs> That crew is six and one, by the way. Hey. <laughs> that no one point probably number one. The teapot helps out with that. As yeah. We're seeing he's a, we, as we know of him, he's a fantastic player. But right mm -hmm. now, that power dunk, that's something, one option that he loves to pick is that yes. power dunk towards the corner. It has and a, a deceptively low end lag. So that's are, not any, that's not just any power dunk either. That is the uh, Tiger Knee power dunk. Which, Tiger Knee is where you do the input, you, like the directional input, you hit jump and then you hit the attack button. That gives you a guaranteed full hop version of that move, which gives the perfect height for it to auto cancel. Which means that if it auto cancels, it is plus one on shield. It's plus on shield? Yes, it is plus on shield and Terry has a frame three jab, meaning that you cannot punish it. But so, so question, if you are if you're Steve, can you put blocks in place to maybe get like sort of contest that you know that power dunk? You could. You could. And that was really smart there. Jumping. Not only is it a good Oh, there we go. That plus one just like we talked about. You can't punish that. Or else you will die. Oh, zooming right up. And, Lots of people uh, fall for that the plus one on shield into the jab. Oh. oh, big damage right here. Goes for the spike on that, uh, I think it was back air or forward air, but... Mm. Don't try to punish that. You will get hit. That is a true frame trap. Not even in like the Smash Bros frame trap kind of sense. It's a traditional frame trap textbook because that is plus one. Oh, oh the my. pressure right now Ugh. and the i i didn't even see how he got to that percent so quickly it's just steve does so much damage you know that was 50 percent off of that first combo yeah. it's that's very I mean, yeah, difficult. Let's get a uh, no, this is the replay on the last kill we just had. Look at his pressure. He couldn't even stay in shield. Otherwise, that probably would have threatened a shield break. Yes, and, it would have. Yeah, turning around at the worst possible moment. You, it's Especially because Steve, normally kind of slow moving around. And then all of a sudden he gets into this cart and he zooms right at you. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're kind of doing this dash, you know, dashing at this particular length, thinking that you're safe. Like, Steve, he's so slow. And then... Yeah. Nope. Yep. Just has that burst range. Now, and, what do you think? There's true counterplay to the uh, to the power dunk, like the auto cancel power dunk yes. into the corner. Yes, you can. You can stuff it out in the air before it hits. That is how. Like I remember, there was one set. I think it was between a uh, no, not a coward. It was an Armonia and a Robin player and uh, Cyrano, a Terry player. And Enarmonia just stuffed it out every single time with that Levin Sword. So, if... Oh, oh no. Oh, that was... That was a nasty grab. Just Whenever I see that, I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> uh, oh. Going kind of deep right there, but it all works out okay. Ah! Oh. Just, I'm loving the way he puts these blocks in the air, and it's it's like he uses them later for a combo, like that one. Like, what purpose did it serve? He definitely had a plan for if he manages to like get a hit and how he's gonna use that block to his advantage. Mm -hmm. 
and awe shows that they really know how to SDI Terry's stuff. Because, go, especially when you're going that hard in. Oh, that was perfect, though. That was perfect. That was significantly better than what could have happened. Because if the jabs had connected, that would have killed. Ooh. Yeah. In the end, it just delayed the inevitable. A great forward smash from Teapot puts him at a really impactful stock lead here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's Final Destination as well, that means there's not really any platforms to get in the way of those auto-canceled power dunks either. So it's really difficult to work with. Wait, it Ooh. is go time. Yeah, Seems we that. actually almost saw Power Geyser confirmed. Oh! And we're not going to be seeing one for a while. Well, we do. We have seen Steve's damage output. Like, <laughs> yes. Teapot can end up at 100% in, in no time at all. Yeah, Steve just does a casual 50%, just like nothing. Even with the low damage weapons, like the gold ones. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but Ah has done really well at Xeno before. Yes, Ah has, has he won, won a Xeno? Uh, I think Ah well, has won these yeah. before. Yes, and has gotten really good placings, even against some of the, like, big names of people you think of when you think in person, you know, like John Numbers and Sinji, getting third against, uh, getting third at a tournament that had those two getting the grand finals. Oh. I oh. do really like the sort of movement options that he's using as yes. uh, Steve, and it's not conventional movement options the way we think it. Uh, but it just like puts a block down, and it almost reminds me of Peach. How Peach will <gasps> like uh, he's, he's alive. Wow, just barely able to make it. Mm -hmm. It's always so scary seeing Steve's try to recover. Oh, and Go is active again. So, oh, never mind. <laughs> this is even. Yeah, I felt yeah. like it felt like Teapot had this massive lead the entire game, and all of a sudden, this is just completely even. Yeah, and. Oh, it doesn't even have diamond weapons right now. <gasps> I don't know if he needs them. Oh, there they are. Probably wants them. You know, just to... <gasps> Probably wants the diamond weapons. Just to, you know, get a little bit of that oomph. Yeah. Yep, and there you see it. Diamond weapons should be good to go now. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's trapped! <sighs> that was such a smart getaway option. But... Now that Aw has the diamond weapons, that means that Go is going to be a lot less likely to happen. Because... Oh, that was the perfect chance to grab. Teapot looking pretty comfortable at only 50%. And Terry does not necessarily need the, those, uh, the, you know, those huge like 100% moves in order to take a stock at this point. Absolutely. You can just land, like, a down tilt, and it's over. At the same Ooh. time, though, oh, that's a lot of rage on Steve. And as we mentioned, he has access to what? The, uh, oh, right. Yep. Cool. yep. Oh, no. Yeah, I, what, is, what option did he pick there? I think he was actually trying to stuff it out, but it was a little bit too late. Yeah. Okay. Get a replay on that? Mm-hmm. Also, this... This recovery here, so cute. And I love the reaction on Teapot. He knew what he was going for immediately, and he was already still there for the sledge trap. Oh no, he had thrown out the grab. Okay, I see. Yeah, we hadn't seen barely any grabs from uh, uh, the entire, both of those games, it feels like. Did he grab him once? No, he did not. Well, he grabbed him in game one, I one think. One time in game yes. one. Uh, I mean, I feel like when, when somebody doesn't use... I understand that Steve's grab is very committal, but mm -hmm. if he's not going for it at all, that kind of speaks to the fact that Teapot's not really putting... He's staying very mobile. He's not yes. just, like, sitting in shield. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, for the most part, uh is having to find different ways in order to intercept and catch him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, that's also very good from Teapot because... A lot of Terry's will just start to get a little bit like grounded because Terry does have very strong ground options, but you know, Terry does have much better movement than the other fighting game characters. 
and T-Bot's making good use of it. Ugh. Just already 34. Oh no. This is just... <gasps> that was almost a kill right there. <laughs> oh, there, there's the grab. Able to get a decent amount of damage at this point, but... Oh, 109% already. Uh, oh no! Struggle. Teapot is just on, just catching those reads every single time, seeing, oh, uh is gonna just drop shield right here, or oh, uh is just gonna be right here, perfectly timed for my offensive option. Uh, but now there is a, this is, this is a, quite a response though. Not quite actually killing Teapot just yet, but 133%, pretty much unanswered. Also, I really like that crack shoot from ledge. That's a ledge getup option that Riddles does a lot as well. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like when, like, the most famous player of that character likes being mentioned, but that's one that you don't really see that many Terry players use, except for the really good ones. Where'd he go? Oh, oh. that traded in the weirdest way, and... Oh, good. Mm. Oh, again, with the SDI, it's so good on us part. Mm-hmm. And look at this, already 72%. It felt like Teapot had just this, if you were just to look at the beginning of this game as a snapshot, it seemed like he had it won, but now he's actually playing from behind. <gasps> but I mean, this is like two good hits and that's a kill for either of these players. You know, like two good hits to convert into a combo and that's it. Oh no. Oh. What a tech! What a tech! Turning that all around! <laughs> and this he just sets up these... He just sets these blocks, and it's its just a contingency plan. If, it, if, he, if he manages to hit Teapot, he can use it to extend his combo. If he gets hit, he's just ready to tech it, and Teapot barely had time to turn around before he got hit with a forward smash in his face. And that is... I, I don't think I need to... I, I can understate how massive that is. We now have a huge lead for uh, and that lead seems to be only growing. Oh my, okay. I'm actually surprised that that beat minecart there. I guess it's because it hit Steve. Oh, does but, he have his jump? He does. Okay, yes, he does. And yes, very good jump from that to stay safe. Uh, Ooh, that was almost a shield break. Because, so, that forward tilt is safe on most characters' shields, and if you space it properly, it is safe on everyone. This is go time. Ooh. He's at 100% exactly. <gasps> and uh, at what percent can we start expecting uh, to be in kill range? Now. Now? Actually, we are Earlier. in the danger zone, folks. Oh, he goes from a footstool out of shield into down air. Such Ugh. a good option. Just the extra added safety that he goes from footstool and he can react to the fact that footstool connected. Because as we were seeing before, you know, he didn't always know the ending flag on Terry's moves. And right there, because yeah. he didn't get the auto cancel of it, mm -hmm. it was guaranteed. He and that's going to be pot. Look at this. Wait, really? Look. Yes, he went for he went for down tilt. Yeah, he went for down tilt. Ooh. And down tilt is frame six. Why are you so... mashing, bro? Hit the block button, homie. Down tilt is homie. frame six. All uh, right. So never mind. Yeah. Forget what I was saying about the <laughs> footstool being cool. Sorry. I guess it was actually unnecessary. But no, no, it's it's. What are you what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I, Why are you doing? This it's thing? so funny. Anyway. And because that was the second frame of down tilt as well, that means that it came out, that it hit on the seventh, or technically, I guess, eighth. Yeah. Because we saw the second the frame as well. Did the come out, though? So, down tilt, down tilt, second frame. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. That it would was, be the um, pre, it's like the wind up for it. Yeah, so right? that means that they, yeah, so it was a decent amount of frames of time that they could yeah. have shielded. If they had enough time to do two frames of extra, 
leeway. But yeah. Are you sure there was a down tilt and not just a crouch? That is down tilt because you saw okay. the leg moving. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. And, and block right. block is frame one. So, like, if he was just holding shield, he would have been fine. And also, if he was crouching, he would have gotten reduced knockback. I don't know if that would have actually changed. but Just hold block, homie. I know it's scary to hold block in this game because the game might be like, huh, I know that you pressed a direction a thousand years ago as prophesized by the Aztecs. So I think you might want to buffer a roll and die. And you're just like, I take my chances with mashing, bro. <laughs> and if they had just blocked that, they could have gone for... Like maybe an up tilt or maybe just an up smash. Mm -hmm. Terry has a lot of good out of shield. Yeah. So do you think that footstool was accidental then? He was hoping to just go for, or is it like a mix up kind of thing where a lot of like, how is your opponent going to expect shielding immediately after the footstool? 